It has been more than a year, but I can still remember that day. It was my best friend's birthday. Happy birthday! We were six friends, and we decided to see a circus. My friends told me that the circus was new and it was the first show. I was much excited because I was going there with my friends for the first time. The excitement got doubled as I was new in the city. We bought the evening show tickets and went there. There were many people in the row going inside from two entrances. When we went inside, it became dark. We found our seats with our phones light. While we were sitting there, a man started collecting the phones in a box. It was weird because it did not happen before. When people asked about it, he said that the show was private and owners did not want to leak any stunts and performances. I did not find it okay and hid my phone in my pocket. The jugglers and clowns were performing on the stage. After some time, the workers at the circus started distributing the juice boxes and snacks as refreshments. My friends found it good as no other circus had ever done this kind of marketing before. We talked about how it was a good idea to get more people in the circus. Everyone ate while watching performances. I was not feeling hungry, so I kept the snack and juice box aside. I was tired because I did not sleep last night due to a test at school. I did not know how but I slept for a few minutes at the circus. When I got awake, I heard weird noises. I saw that the workers were beating some people and kidnapping them. I looked around and found that everyone was unconscious. I tried waking up my friends silently, but no one responded. One of the men came near me, so I acted like I was also unconscious. He slapped at my face to check if I was in my senses, but I kept my eyes shut. In a few minutes, he went towards the other people. I slowly opened my eyes to see if there was a chance to call the police. I called 911, and while I whispered, a man saw me and came near me. I tried to escape, but there was no place to run. Fortunately, I put my phone on the loudspeaker. The man punched me, but I knew the police were coming. I kicked the man, and more of them started coming towards me. I ran to the front shouting that the police would be there in a few minutes. They laughed, saying that no one was ever able to catch them. In a few minutes, the police arrived. I could hear the sirens, so I started screaming. The police entered the circus and arrested every person who was part of the gang. Some people went to the hospitals, and some were already awake. Till today, I have never gone to any circus again.